The economic upswing allowed the railroad to grow steadily, and as settlements suddenly appeared on the timetables, which until now had been in the middle of nowhere, the country had grown closer. Soon, entrepreneurial vanities and greed fueled the railroad tycoon's first rivalries for lucrative routes and connections. Meanwhile, the Mississippi formed a border between the vibrant centers in the east on the one side and the untapped settlements and new markets in the west on the other. Yet technological innovation, unbroken pioneering spirit, and a good nose for business would soon bring down this barrier as well and drive the triumphant procession of the railroad on unimpeded. Okay. So, this. you're the crazy one who wants to build the transcontinental route. You are aware that there have already been many dreamers who have all failed spectacularly, and you think that that won't be the case for you. <laughs> oh, I don't want to destroy your dreams, of course. Give it a try. My name is Cornelius Vanderbilt. The Cornelius Vanderbilt. I'm sure you've heard of me. I'm not so optimistic about the future of the railroad and prefer to invest in waterways. But you never know. So I'm interested in what goals you are pursuing. Uh, I don't know. Ah, oh, my dear. Are we competing with each other again? That is a nice surprise. Things might not have gone so well for me last time, but I've got more up my sleeve this time. Some people with money find it difficult to resist me, if you follow my meaning. So, good luck, even if you're not going to have much of that. Do I want to buy a brewery because I have grain over there? Uh, is that what I want? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe. Maybe that's good. Buy a brewery. Cattle is something you want deeply. And there is cattle right there. I have Indianapolis and I have Grand Rapids and uh, Chicago. I want to connect them all. Small train station. I should start with Indianapolis, right? Good, good, good. Let's see. Add a new train. And then we connect you. You to you. I have corn, cattle, bricks and wool maybe might be good. Or do I want cattle here as well? I'm gonna go with a meat industry. I should connect to every city around me as soon as I can. Okay, let's see my tasks now, first and foremost. Deliver 50 loads of lumber to Rock Island. I don't know where Rock Island... There it is. Oh, I have Rock Island here. Ah, why can't they connect to this place? Why am I not allowed to, to, to connect to Rock Island? Oh no, it looks like one of your trains has a problem. Yeah, you know what? It's because I don't have a supply tower. There is something that I have to keep track on this time, because I missed this last time. I need to keep track on when my towns are being upgraded so I can build an another industry inside of them. Because if, I don't, if I'm not being quick about it, the other guys will build something instead. Connect 10 rural businesses, I have 4 to go. Connect 250,000 people to your rail network. Deliver 50 loads of lumber to Rock Island. Transport 100 passengers from Toledo to Omaha. Okay, okay. And also this. Bad condition. It is, it's more than 50% in oh good. Oh no, it looks like one of your trains has a problem. Where? This one? This one? Do you mean, did you mean that one? What is the problem? What do you mean bad condition? What do you mean bad condition? I, I seriously do not understand what you mean by that. No, I, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. It's not a bad condition. I have everything that I need. Do I have a train passing through Chicago? I don't even have a station in Chicago. Why is that? Okay, so I'm gonna make... Okay, okay, okay. Let's make my railway pass through here. And uh, by that... You do know that the two rails have to run parallel to each other, right? Looks pretty amateurish to me. W what? I see you've managed to expand your rail network in the east. That's more than I expected of you. Uh... I hear the bridge over the Mississippi has been approved. However, the Mississippi is a land border and we must respect it. Constructing a bridge over it might be doable, but it's a huge amount of work. Otherwise, you'd have to supply the construction site at Rock Island with materials and build another line there just for that. That's really not worth it. Okay, now I can connect it. Uh, or can I? Yeah, I can. 
I can. All right. Wait, did I test? Did I finish the test? Yes, I, I yes, yes, I did. <laughs> I did. I need, I need more rural businesses though. But what does Chicago need? Wait, go back. You have, you have cattle, you have uh, wood, and you have uh, no planks, and you have wood. Okay, I think it's time for me to connect everything to Rock Island now because I need to start bringing lumber to Rock Island. So maybe I should just expand Chicago even more. More trains is more trains is better. Just more trains, it's better. I'm gonna have because this is such a important way thingy, you know. You know what? I'm gonna upgrade this place because I think it's important. Eleven. Okay, that's growing. Transport hundred passengers from Toledo to Omaha. All right, let's check out the companies. How how are we going? How's ha what's happening? Oh, I'm I'm leading. Merch this company costs five million. Merch this one costs seven million. I'm doing great. <laughs> you remember last time I was like I was like uh, I was jumping up between three and second third and second place. Now I'm I'm I have more than double <laughs> of number two. Also, you know what I found out that you can do? Wait, let me see this train. No, something that is moving. This is moving. You can wait. Where is that? How do you do that? You can ride along. You see, I can ride along with the with the thing. Do I have a breakdown? Leave. Breakdown again? Why? You succeeded in delivering the material for the bridge, and now it's finished. Yes. The Mississippi has been conquered. Milk. You can advance deeper into the west. You know what? I'm gonna build a large train station here. No, I'm gonna build a train station, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip it because every time I do this the wrong opposite way, and it it just it bothers me. Okay, what will happen when I click OK now? Because now I have when I click OK, I have connected Omaha to Toledo. What will happen? Nothing. It is connected. Omaha through here, Chicago, and what was the task? Hundred passengers from Toledo to Omaha without stopping, and I have uh, seven years to do that. Now should be working. Yeah, to Toledo. There we go. You should always only take passengers and mail. You know, I feel so good. I'm going to have three trains going between Omaha and Toledo, carrying only passengers and mail. I know that the, the, the road is not perfect, but at least I have three trains going back and forth to these two places. How many trains do I have now? Oh, wait, okay, hold on. How many trains? I have one. I should, I should have three going that way. Okay, I think I'm satisfied. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna touch anything. I, I'm soon about to win anyway. I only need one train more into Omaha, and I don't know where that is right now, though. You're moving away. You're going to. Okay, this train is carrying passengers to Omaha. I don't know if that's 20 passengers, but if there is, I'm about to win this game. I mean this 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 area. You see, there's so many things waiting. If I just zoom out, this is one, two, three. You know, I I don't care. I don't know if this is the train that will make me win. Coming right in how now? Maybe that's enough for me to win. Let's see. I invested my money in your competitor, but now your line from Toledo to Rock Island <sighs> is very solid. Perhaps I was a bit hasty. Oh, this was going. You have expanded your rail network oh, in the I'm east, so happy. made the jump across the Mississippi, and advanced deep into the west. For the short time you had, that was a considerable achievement. Hats off. Hats off, yeah. You take your eyes off only for a second, and then this happens. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't care, because I finished the chapter. I won. Let, let's give me the score. Mm, yeah. Yes. With the overcoming of the Mississippi, yes. The door to the Great Plains opened and the border of the wilderness was pushed back farther and farther west. Civilization, along with everything that goes with it, found its way to the places where the railroads stopped regularly. Oh, Indians. Natives. What's the correct word for, for them? Natives or Indians? I don't In know. In 1861, scouts had finally found a route to realize a complete railroad connection from east to west. The vision of a transcontinental railroad, previously viewed with skepticism, now seemed to be within touching distance. 
but a conflict had been brewing for many years in the southeast, which now threatened to engulf the entire nation in a wildfire. Wildfire? Is it going to be... Is it going to be fires and stuff now? Weather? Okay, let's see my score. Accountant? Overall rating 20.7. Accountant? I, I did not even get to engineer. Ah, damn. But fine, okay. I am all out of time for this episode. I have been recording for one and a half hour. That's a half hour too long for me. <sighs> this is so fun. I can't wait to see what happens next. I don't know how many chapters there are even. But it's going to be really fun. Really fun. So anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoy me playing Railway Empire, yeah, that's the name. Uh, then please leave a like and make sure to subscribe. And let's set sail to the next video. Bye-bye.